Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Game of Thrones. Last time on Game of Thrones, we had the Bear and the Maiden Fair. Uh, a bunch of stuff happened in this one. Um, Jamie saved Brienne from being killed by a bear, and they are now traveling together towards King's Landing, where Jamie will keep his promise of returning the Stark girls. Although really now it's just Stark girl, because there's still no Arya there. Uh, we had a cool scene between Joffrey and Tywin. Uh, Daenerys is about to take the city of Yonkai because it has slaves. Uh, Theon might get his penis cut off. Jon and Ygritte are just kind of making their way towards Castle Black. Um, yeah, that's basically that. And um, yeah, with that being said... Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes that I've reacted to. And in terms of talking about the books, you can. i just rather you be very vague about it because I'm probably going to read them someday. Someday. Not today, though. And with that being said, let's get right into episode 8 of season 3. Here we go. She is ready to bash his head in. Yeah, because he's a murderer to her. He killed the... Stop what? All you want. Why did you take her? To Joffrey and the Queen. Fuck Joffrey. Fuck the Queen. Yeah. That's the Red Fork. I'm taking you to the twins. The twins? But why? Because your mother and brother will be there. And they'll oh. pay me for you. Okay. That'll Why work. Why would they be at the twins? I swear I fucked you once in a pleasure house in Leeds. Mind your tongue. Why? I didn't mind hers. She licks my ass like she was born to do it. <laughs> this is not a good way to start Save off. Girl. Bring wine. Show me your cunt. I want to see if it's worth fighting. Near daddy. Bez al nek te las ja in gozi. You see Elvis in Trissi, you see. You seem to be enjoying my wine. Perhaps you'd like... I'm sure she's them. really oh, resisting the urge to just murder them. And was my brothers in arms to drink. Sir Barristan, if it comes to battle, kill that one first. Yeah. Gladly, your grace. Oh my gosh. Did you see all that rage just pile onto her right then? Goodness gracious. A panic seeps into her meat. Darkens it, falls the flavor. You slaughtered many lambs. So they are going to and kill him. The blade. That sucks. But they did say the king's blood is important. So I imagine that's what they're gonna do. Why should I spare the son of some tavern slut Robert bedded one drunken night? Huh. Because he has your blood in his veins. Yeah. So did Renly. Renly wronged you. Renly declared himself king when the throne belonged to you. He raised an army, stole your. That's banner. true. Gendry's done He's nothing to you. Arm. He's an innocent. Really... Great battle in the snow. I saw it. Hmm. And you saw whatever she gave birth to. I never believed, but yeah. when you see the truth, when it's right there. In front of you. But that doesn't mean it's the Lord of Light. How can you deny her God is real? You don't have to speak to me as a prisoner anymore. You won't be a prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. So they're getting married I today. I suppose that's a different kind of prison. <laughs> that you didn't I think of. I just wanted to say. I... You rebelled against my father. Hmm. Do you know where House Rain is now? It doesn't God. exist. Gone. A gentle word. Why not say slaughtered? Yeah. Every man, woman, and child. Here's a little cautionary it's tale for the Tyrells. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. Damn. Now we'll be direct. Your father's gone. As the father of the realm, it is my duty to give you away to your husband. Is that how that works? 
I mean, to be fair, there's no one else there, so I guess if it's gonna be anyone, it's gonna be the king. Man, that just sucks. You're the reason her father's not here. Why am I so nervous? This might be okay. Oh, what the fuck? Fucking Joffrey. We now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. <laughs> could you? Could... Yeah, kneel down. It'll be all right. Just try. Let's just try to get through this as fast as possible. Skip to the end, please. In Flea Bottom, we call them bowls of brown. We'd pretend that the meat in them was chicken. <laughs> we knew it wasn't chicken. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Death is coming for everyone and everything. Yeah, that's the a turn on. Swallow the dawn. And we can stop it. You and I. Oh, maybe that is a turn on. <sighs> oh. What are you doing? Oh, it's getting kinky in here. Oh no. Half his blood comes from the king. Oh no. Hey Stannis. He devils. He didn't believe in the power of king's blood. Oh, it's both of them. He won. He is it the rough stuff. Huh? He's up a bail on great joy. He's up a Joffrey Baratheon. Is magic crap about to go down? Get rid of her gown. She won't be needing it any longer. Ladies! Attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Ooh. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. It's about to go down. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. Tyrion. A bad joke, your grace. My lord father has commanded me to consummate this marriage. Yeah. Give her, give her a few drinks. She'll power through it. I could, I would. <laughs> but your father... If my father wants someone to get fucked, I know where he can start. <laughs> Jeez. It only took your grace a year to learn Dothraki reasonably well. Yes, well, it was either learn Dothraki or grunt at my husband and hope. What do you mean, reasonably well? <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. What do the captains have to say about that? You should ask them. Huh. Why? All right. We had... They ordered me to murder you. I told them I preferred not to. They told me I had no choice. Okay. I told them I am Dario Nahais. I always have a choice. Could you have done this at a time when she's not taking a bath? Man, she is maintaining perfect eye contact. She has Would zero like craps to, to give. How hard could it be to build a fire? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't you think he should have a name? Yes. I don't know many boys' names. Let's see. There's Duncan. Yeah. Kevin. John. John. Gaiman. Felden. Yeah. Christopher. Ned. Randall, Tarly. Randall is a handsome name. 
Meh, that's not bad, actually. Please don't hate me, Randall. Aw. Oh, that's right. He hates his father. His father so disowned him. Crawl like mine. What is with those crows? Is there like a crow fighting arena outside? There's so many friggin' birds! Oh, crap. That's, that's straight up a white walker. Oh. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, no! The fire! Ooh. Holy crap, did you kill a White Walker? Nice shot! Yeah, let's get the balls out of here. You gotta get to that friggin' wall. Oh, is that the end of the episode? Oh, dang it. Alrighty. Mm. Ooh, stuffs are stuffs are happening in this episode. Holy crap! Which, because next episode is episode nine, that should mean that next episode is technically the climax of this season, because that's kind of how this seasons have been working. Now, it's entirely possible that might not be the case, but um. But, in Season 1, we kind of had the climax of Season 1 in Episode 9 with Baylor and Ned Stark. And then the 10th episode was just sort of a resolution sort of episode. Like, okay, here's the rest, like, here's the aftermath of that, I guess. And then in Season 2, we had uh, Blackwater, which was very much the climax of that, epi uh, that season. And then we had uh, Episode 10, again, be the aftermath. So... That means next episode ought to be the next, um, not, ought to be the next climax, basically, but it's entirely possible that that's not the case, so I guess we'll see. I wrote down the second sons. I don't like these guys. First off, the fact, I, I hate, I hate their faces, because <laughs> each one of them always had this cocky smile on their faces. And it's just like, you don't know who you're messing with. Like, that's the thing. It's like, I... They just, they don't know who they're messing with. Because this is Daenerys Targaryen. And she's amazing. So yeah, I hated their cocky smiles and their attitudes. But... <laughs> I love... God, the disgust that just came over her. Because she basically kept up a cocky smile of her own, kind of. Like, she was... She had, like, a great poker face in that conversation at the beginning. Like, because she had to. Because she couldn't, you know, just... She had to keep up a poker face to keep in control of the conversation. Whereas, Sir Barristan and uh, Jorah, they didn't really have the best poker faces. And even uh, Grey Worm was like, can I just kill them already? Like, they didn't have the greatest poker faces. But she always kept that sort of confident smile on her face. Which was good. But it was just amazing, like, as soon as they, as soon as the three of them left, to just watch all that rage and disgust just pour right into her face. That was, that was something to watch. That was a little scary, actually. When that, when that smile, like, disappeared, I was like, oh, she's, she's ready to kill. She's ready to kill all of them. So, that was cool. Um, and interesting that the... The guy, uh, Dohario, is that what he, is that what his name was? Dohario, Dohario, uh, Dario, I don't know, Daria, I don't remember his name per se. Um, that was interesting, the fact that he, okay, I don't get him exactly. So, he was swayed over by her beauty he has to know he's not getting in it. Like, he's not gonna... They're not gonna bang. That's not happening. 
he has to know that's not happening. But it's... Is it literally just that he thinks that she is beautiful? I mean, she is. She's definitely beautiful, but... I don't know. Uh, that was... Maybe you guys can explain that to me in the comments. That was a little... That was a little strange. I might need a full, like... Like, I, I might need an explanation on what his thought process was to kill his captains and give the second sons to Daenerys. But, hey, we got we got more men, so that's great. Um, we got more men, which is good. I was kind of thinking, like, maybe this would be the one time where they just have to kill them. Like, we don't get more men, we just have to have a battle. But no, still, in the end, Daenerys has more men now, so I'll take it. I wrote down uh, Gendry's blood. So, okay, well, right now they haven't sacrificed him, but that is the plan, is that they're going to sacrifice him. Which sucks, because I like him. But... So, I assume these little leeches, basically, the leeches took his blood, which is, half of his blood comes from Robert, so it is the king's blood, technically. He honestly probably has more king's blood than uh, Stannis, well, technically, well, I, eh, if you go into, like, genetics and stuff, whatever, but... Because Robert and Stannis have the same parents, but if we're talking about specifically Robert's blood, then well, whatever. So, but then she used three leeches, one of them on his dick. That's just, that's just wrong. Like, come on. Which, I guess, okay, so the leeches, she put one at his heart, I think. And then, was it one at his liver? And then one at his dick? Because that's places that were pumping out blood at that moment. It's like, his heart was racing, and his heart just makes blood, so... I mean, he was erect, so there was a lot of blood going through there. Okay, and... Yeah, so, um... That's something. That's definitely something. So, but then... So Stannis takes the leeches, puts them into the fire, and for each one he says a different name. He says Joffrey, Balon Greyjoy, and Rob Stark, which are the three other kings that he's fighting in the war. And without Renly, that's kind of it. So what was going to be the War of Five Kings is really the War of Four Kings now because Renly died. So I miss Renly. Um, okay, so, so I assume that has something to do with the fact... I, I assume that's something where he's going to do... He did that to do something to them. To the three of them. Joffrey, Balon, and Rob Stark. He must have done that for some reason, but I'm not sure what yet. And that doesn't play into the sacrifice because Gendry's still alive. So what... What, what, what are they doing exactly? Because we... Because now we didn't see we didn't see Rob and we didn't see Balon Greyjoy. We haven't seen Balon Greyjoy in a while, pretty much all season. I think we haven't seen him since like season two. I think. Um. So we haven't seen them. We didn't see them this episode. We saw Joffrey, but he wasn't like affected or anything. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I guess I'll. I'm interested to see what it is. Uh, I wrote assassination slash not. Um, we kind of talked about that already. Worms, which are actually leeches, and I just didn't think of the word yet. Uh, I wrote down the wedding. That was tense, man. That was really tense. And see, oh my gosh, that's just... Ooh, that just got so tense. <sighs> it just... First, I, I don't even know where I could begin talking about that wedding. That was just horrible horrible and okay and joffrey taking away the the step stool so that Tyrion had to have her crouch down so he could put the cloak over it's like a couple people were laughing joffrey was laughing obviously because you know he was humiliating his uncle but 
Tywin didn't like that even. I like you know there were a couple people who like in the crowd who were laughing, and he just looks over and they just stop. It's like yeah, you don't want that kind of look from Tywin Lannister. So, so yeah, so that was already something, and I guess that was. And that's the reason why, you know, Joffrey was like, well, let's let's do the bedding tradition where, you know, you carry your wife to bed, which ugh, that kind of sucks. You could just walk. Oh, I guess it's sort of sort of the same thing as crossing crossing the threshold, um, which people do. Which is also kind of weird. Just walk into your fucking house, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I I I find a lot of wedding traditions to be really really weird. Like and and now the full transparency, that's because my parents got married in Vegas, so I, I that's just kind of how I was raised. I was like weddings aren't a big deal to me, so yeah. Um not the point. The point is we're talking about this wedding. Um so hey, we got one wedding down. So that means two more weddings between Loris and Cersei, which I'm sure will be another shit show. And, um... Uh, Marjorie and Joffrey. That's it. So, yeah. And, man, Cersei threatening Marjorie. First off, just... Like, there were two threats that Cersei did with Marjorie. Like... There were two different threats. There was the first one where it's like... When the when House was House of Ren, is that what they said? Is that what she said? Like, you know, when they went against my father, my father just slaughtered them all and just hang hung their bodies for all of summer. And it was a long summer too. It's like So there there's that threat already. Which is sort of which in and of itself is sort of a implied threat, I suppose. Because she doesn't come out and say, like, this is what we're going to do to you. It's like, this is what happened in the past. We better hope that doesn't repeat itself. <laughs> but then Cersei just goes, stops beating around the bush and is like, and if you ever call me sister again, I'm going to fucking kill you. It's like, well, why not just say, don't betray, like, why do you have to beat around the bush and then not do that, Cersei? Come on. So that was interesting. And, oh, and that tense tense scene where Tyrion threatens Joffrey and and credit to the actor who plays Joffrey that was a deranged look on his face like he was getting pissed like now that didn't do anything to Tyrion Tyrion was willing to stand up for himself and I'm sure Bronn was like you know 10 feet away at the most so Bronn would go over there and you know kick ass if he needed to But still, like that was that was a very deranged look on Joffrey's face. It was crazy, man. So yeah. Um, and then the last thing I wrote down was the White Walker. So the White Walkers. I mean, I I kind of forgot about it that um that Craster offers male the male children to the White Walkers. But yeah. Like, I forgot about that. And then to have it be brought back when he, they are miles and miles and miles away from Craster's house. The White Walkers still went because they want that friggin' baby. And you know what? Props to Sam for actually being able to kill the White Walker. You know, and I kind of thought about it as like, well, doesn't that make the White Walkers, you know, pathetic? They were killed by Sam. He doesn't fight. And it's like, no, that just makes Sam awesome. And it's like, okay, we found a weakness to the White Walkers. You know, I'm starting to get a... I'm starting to not be worried about the, I'm sure, inevitable invasion of the White Walkers. Is that, stab them in the back, they just break. Which is good. But you gotta, you gotta land a blow on them. So, and it's good that, that it doesn't require fire to do that. With the, the undead, basically, like, you, you do have to... You do have to burn the bodies, but you don't have to do that with an actual White Walker, which is good. So, yeah. So, that was a cool scene. Hopefully, they can get back to the wall and nothing bad will happen. But this is Game of Thrones. Something bad's gonna happen. 
something bad happens every five episodes. Five episodes. Five minutes. What am I talking about? With that being said, that's all I wrote. This was a great discussion, great episode. I'm really excited to get to the next episode because I have a feeling it's going to be the climax. Even if it's not a big climax like uh, the past two seasons have had, it's probably going to build up to the big climax. So that'll be exciting to see. I love when we get to the end of these seasons because they're always so exciting and so much fun. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Game of Thrones reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.